Hi everyone, I'm back with another wildlife origami and today we'll be folding a kangaroo. I think it's the first time I've folded a kangaroo. Or maybe I have, I just don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, look at how cute it looks and let's get straight into it. So like usual, we're going to start with a square piece of origami paper and we will first fold a bird base. So we're going to fold it diagonally both ways up and fold it horizontally and vertically Then we're going to take one square and as you can see the sides are coming in so we just need to collapse it uh, down onto itself and the head. Like that, collapsing the sides and afterwards we're going to fold the sides towards the centre. And after that, open it up, kind of do a small crease here and bring the sides towards the centre for the creases we just made. Gonna flip it and do the same on the other side basically. Oh, so like there, and then this is basically our bird base. I was trying to think what I was doing. Um, we're going to fold these down. Oh gosh, and then we're gonna open this flap so spread open. So like slowly, if you. Grab the legs, spread it open, I need to zoom out again I think, and you're just going to push your finger down on the top, like so, like that, so that's fully spread out and push down and as you push down from the top view the sides will like naturally come to the centre and what you want to do is bring them towards the uh, center so you're gonna like bring these kind of you might need to help some of the small little parts but you're gonna bring it towards the center like so and you're gonna want to try and value fold this so let's see how best to do this we will bring two of these towards um, one of them. We're going to bring two to 
Mosqueda and so we'll have like one still upright like so I want down How it looks. Yep, let me just squeeze it down. like have it on the flat surface this bottom here as you're folding to get it properly folded amazing so this is how it should look if you fold it neatly unlike me <laughs> um just kind of pulling them tweaking and yeah Basically, we don't want to create arms, so we're going to cut the interior sleeve and we're also going to cut the top to make the head. So for the head, it's going to be slightly curved upwards the way we cut this, so this is pressuring <laughs> to cut. Uh, so part, and then it's gonna go up. Like that. And we're basically going to, I guess, kind of open it up. Although you can kind of already see how it's gonna work. Just kind of grab and then squash the fold to make the neck. Like that. And then for the arms, I'm still trying to figure it out because it looks like we also do some like curvy cut here to make the arms, but it's not quite clear. So if it's the interior, we want to cut it on the inside here and then again do sort of a curved cut. I know this is all very not accurate. Um, but I guess this is how we roll <laughs> on this channel. No, I cut that way too much. Okay, do not do that. Um, I think it should be fine. Um, but basically, you want to do like the same at the top where you're like going out, rounded, and then back up again. Um, did I even cut both sides? Did. So then you just want to move the arm so it's up. Kind of pull my head of my model back down again. Just want to move it so it's up like this, and that's pretty much it. You might want to, well, I might want to. You probably didn't cut it botched like mine, but you could like round it out a bit, and yeah. Uh, I should cut this open. So I want to cut the arms open because it's like conjoined right now. 
Um, so he has, or it has two separate functioning hands. We'll discard. It's so small that my scissors are struggling to cut that little gap, I think. Maybe I can like slightly rip this open without completely messing up. Um, but yeah, I think this is as good as it gets with me. I might fold, actually I might cut these little pointy out bits. Like clean our surface. So then it's like that, a little very very little arms and gonna where's my pen where is everything now i need a pen to just draw an eye on then one on the other side as well for my kangaroo and then that's pretty much actually we want to do another cut this is so many cuts for uh, one piece of origami so this is the tail basically um we want to do a cut like right next to the fold here about that much and we're basically gonna fold it back in in on itself to form the tail so with a tiny cut here just gonna fold it in on itself like that and do the same on the other side so both sides are evenly folded and then yeah this is pretty much our kangaroo model look at it's all old i made it so small that's like my fault basically um but this is pretty much it for our kangaroo model i guess how it looks determines how well you cut it i'm like so bad at doing like tiny precision cuts and <laughs> it is what it is but i hope you all enjoyed this origami and turned out better than mine and yeah like usual write a comment down below what you thought of this origami or anything you want to recommend me thumbs up this video so i know you enjoyed this type of content subscribe for more origami videos like this and other sorts of arts and craft video i post on here and yeah thanks for watching everyone and i hope to see you next time bye